This is Stu. We are at 38 Talbot. Um, just starting the tour inside the house in the foyer here. Um, the tour dog today is very uh, friendly. Okay, we've got a nice walk-in. Uh, walk-in, sorry. <laughs> nice deep closet for your coats. Into, I guess, I guess, separate foyer area here that picks up on the hall. Decent sized living room here. You can see the orientation they've put it in. Um, it looks a little less open with the sectional in here. And then they've kind of broken it off with this table. The chair hiding here, the fireplace is kind of hidden. And um, we'll see on the outside, the chimney stack um, isn't looking like it's in the best shape. Might need some uh, repointing if it's salvageable. Um, definitely want someone to look at that. Um, we have a uh, dining area here. I noticed the uh, light fixture as well as the lack of overhead lighting in here does make the space seem a little dark. So it could use some upgrades on that front. Probably not super inexpensive to have someone come in and put some like pot lights in or something or just another light in the living room. Could have a big difference in here when you're playing. Um, there is the walkout right there for the, the patio. Um, sliding doors you might have had a nicer feel, but these are fully functional. Taking you right out there. We'll do an exterior tour after where this wall makes sense, but you have a decent little deck there with a lower patio. Um, going into the kitchen here. Um, good amount of cabinetry. Appliances aren't super old. Matching set. Cabinets are just a, a simple, a simple package. Um, I was mentioning before, compared to the last house, this was about seven feet less big. Um, I think this wall could come, I don't want to put you guys up to any massive runos, but I think this could be um, knocked down and turned into an open concept space. If you needed that, otherwise, I will just take you around another walk so you can imagine from this side into the kitchen, into the dining room. All the measurements are right on the, the listing. You can see the size of everything and into the, the living room there. There could be another option for switching out the dining and living room. Um, I haven't put my mind to it to see if that's feasible, but just have a gander in your mind to see if it works. A nice big linen closet here. We have our bathroom um, with a little hex tile floor, sort of updated vanity. I think it's maybe a little uh, um, in need of some TLC, but into a, a toilet nook there. Shower and bath insert here for a four piece. Um, all pretty uh, gray in here. It's kind of gray with the blue lights. It's got a bit of a feel. Probably do something a little different. Um, they've got a blind down for the window, but there's your view from the bathroom here. Um, except for when someone goes in and out of the house, it's pretty private if you didn't want the blind there. Um, we're going to the second bedroom upstairs. Again, the measures are online. There is not a closet in here currently. So you will have to account for some sort of armoire or shelving unit. Oh, there is a closet, sorry. I'll, I'll explain later about a situation I had. I'm not super prepped on the inside of the house, but tenants always help a sale um, on the buyer side if you're willing to work with it. That was a decent closet in there. It looks like it could have a different layout for um, hanging clothes. We've got our primary bed here. There we go. A decent amount of space in here. Um, let's see if we can get up this window here. A view out to the front yard. And a deeper closet back there. But otherwise, pretty simple. And we've covered 
everything on this floor. Okay, if we go into this, there's an extra little like broom closet here. Go downstairs. Another door that takes you to the lower deck patio area here. They were not ready at all for our showing. I'm sure there's um, a more organized way this home normally gets shown uh, downstairs where they have a bedroom set up here. Um, I guess they probably didn't close that off because where the wall would go would make that a bit of an awkward room. And we have the, the pillar over here. Um, one really good note though is that there are all these um, my goodness, bulkheads here. And they're probably only about six feet um, from the ground. And I think Tom's a little bit taller. So I'm trying to remember how tall he would be. It's just about an inch or two above my head. So that's definitely a note. It's not a basement for everyone. Um, we have what could be another bedroom here. I think this is probably what they have as a real bedroom on the, the listing. It's hard to tell what the size is with all the clothes down here, um, all the racks and everything but I think you should have the right size for a bedroom, which would leave this all open for a living space, which I think is how it was staged on the listing. Um, into a laundry room here for your weekly functionality. Lots of storage space. The ceiling height in here is great. Um, it's too bad all that bulkhead had to be out there because um, you're probably at seven feet at least by the time you've done your finishes on the roof in here. Joy structure is a little bit overspanned, but um, I think with the distance that it's traveling, which is probably only about 10 or 11 feet, a home inspector wouldn't have a problem with that. Got a nice um, concrete foundation here. Bit of uh, galvanized down there. Um, typically you want to have that replaced. It doesn't look like it's on its last legs. And insurance will just give you a little bit of a hard time about it, not a big hard time. Um, we have a 100 panel, which is pretty maxed out, so that could be a candidate for an upgrade um, to a 200 amp uh, if you needed some more room on there. Otherwise, the electrical appears to be decent. Let me sneak in here. It's at aluminum again. It isn't really a problem. You just have to make sure everything is ESA certified and inspected. Don't think it is. Okay, got a sump pump here. I don't see any signs anywhere of any flooding, so it's doing its job. We have a gas line in here. I'm trying to remember what the gas line would be for if it's anything more than just the furnace. But we do have gas line coming in, so if you wanted to upgrade your stove or get a gas line barbecue, it is already at the house. All right, we do have our furnace right over here. I don't think I can get an easy age off that. Our tag is 2013 is the last date of test. So maybe the listing might have that entered at its proper date, but at least 2013. I think we own our hot water tank from the looks of it. Decent washer and dryer. Lots of egress window down here. You're very faithful. Good dog. And then you have a little cold storage here. So there are a lot of belongings in the house. I do understand it's probably a little hard to um, visualize everything, but I think between this tour and the listing photos and floor plans, we're doing a lot better than we, we were earlier this morning. Because of the length of the video, I'm just going to do a separate outside video. Um, the uploads take a really long time once they get this long and I'll see you outside.